Hello everyone, my name is Liam Knight, or oh, Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Evil Within. This is the last episode of the main story. Um, or at least it's going to try and be the last episode. We've only got like three more chapters left. Um, I hear they're quite short. So let's just try and get through them. Thank God you're alright. How did you get here? It wasn't easy. At least I haven't had any more uh, episodes. I wish I could say the same. Hey, I think I might have found us some transportation. I think I remember that. This thing gonna run? Only one way to find out. Shit! Hey, what are you doing? Answer me. Oh, shit. I have no HP to fight this thing. Or bullets. Let me grab the bullets first. Also, yeah, I noticed that my microphone was very loud last episode. Um, I apologize for that. Um, let's just make sure it's on. It's on. Thank God you're all right. Yeah, I don't know why it was so loud. Um, maybe because I had it like right up against my mouth, but. I'm hoping having it away from me will help. So I really didn't mean it for it to be that loud. Damned if I'm going to die in here. Okay, let's just immediately like syringe up. Um, what are they? Bro, it's like a eight legged spooky boy. Yeah, I'm assuming do not shoot it right now. Not till at least it grabs us again. I don't know how long we'll be safe here. Probably like for five seconds. Now what? Sebastian, they're above us. Watch out, we've got dynamite. Two down, actually. Get it right. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is giving me um, flashbacks to. Uh, 
I forget what game it is. Uh, Transit. In Black Ops 2? Ooh, a box, you're so kind. I don't think that thing's gonna stay down. <clears throat> and I'm being honest, I do not remember any of this. I mean, I remember fighting that big guy, but I don't remember this part. Um. Bullets, please. Oh, the. gonna hide right here. Uh... Oh, I can make bolts. Okay, I can make a bolt. Make a count. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got no bullets. I mean, I've got... Oh. Kaboomy. Thanks for clearing the way, bro. There's big old bro up now. I'm just expecting to be climbing on the st on the rooftops. Keep us to the left up here. Oh no, he just drops down from the ceiling. No boss, okay. That's fine. I didn't want to live anyway. Um ooh, actually oh don't do not, oh, no, I'm not using my magnum. Nope. Fine. I didn't want to use my magnum. I mean, I had no choice to not to not use it, but I really just want to make the final boss like bang, 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 bang with the magnum, and then just dead. Where are we heading, 
Joseph. I've got a theory. We seem to be moved around an awful lot. Almost as if by someone's will. So it's nearly impossible to get any sense of the geography around here. But the light, Beacon Mental Hospital, it's always in the distance. This thing you found me hooked up to, I've seen it in more than one place. Yeah, so have I. It seems like it's the same exact one, but it's hard to be sure. The thing that I've noticed is that each time I run across one, I seem to be closer to the lighthouse. It could be a coincidence, but like I said, it seems as if there is some intelligence behind it. So you figure we ought to cut to the chase and just head straight for the hospital? Exactly. Nice work, Detective. The right side looked like it led more directly toward the hospital. Just get us out of here. There's an ambulance there. There might be some kind of first aid. I'll go. No, I'll do it. Don't that was a hell of a shot. Like, goddamn. Oh, great. This is where, like... Oh. Uh. That's where preferably I'd want to stock up on as much ammo as possible. Um, if it's possible, okay, maybe it's not going to be possible, but... I can still take them out as I go, I guess. What's that? Bottle. I mean, I know before like every boss fight they do give you shit to fight, but like... You asshole. Okay, not my intention, that was. I was wanting to, like, get them towards the, um, the red barrel. How did that do just a little bit more? This is where I'm having the upgrade of like. You know, I was gonna leave you alive, but I'm glad I burnt you. Yeah, this is about having the upgrade of um, being able to like melee damage quite a bit would be perfect. Okay, okay, this is fine. One bullet. One bullet's all I need. Come on, a bullet in a dream. That did nothing for me. I'm gonna have to pull out the magnum. Or the shotgun. I keep forgetting they don't drop bullets, which sucks. Eh. Okay, hopefully that explode. Yeah, that explodes in your hand. Oh. 
Okay, we got a snipper in the distance. That's what we want to see. We want to see you getting trapped. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just run past everyone. No, bro. Energy something something something. I couldn't care to read it. It's a first aid kit. What else do you need to know? Oh. Duh. I hate the AI on these enemies so much. Okay, well at least I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in it. Back off, back off, back off. Are we good to go? Not yet. Hey, clear the path. Oh, fuck. Get back to the gun, get back to the gun, get back to the gun! At least it doesn't overheat like most games. Okay, I'm gonna run for it. Um... I kinda need it. My turn to drive. This is probably connected to a trophy, like, hit every single one of them. Oh shit, I don't want to hit you. Evilness? 10. Coolness, though. 
a fucking hundred. That was cool as shit. Props to you, Ruvik. Or Ruben, Ruben, Ruvik, Leslie, whatever your name is. I think it's Ruben. Unless, like, Ruben was his, like, human name and then Rubik was, like, his evil, like, transition name. Kidman? Kidman, out. <sighs> None of these are breakable. Oh my eye. Hey, shotgun shells. Always nice to see. Pistol bullets? That's what I'm like mainly looking for. Into the mirror we go. Should I go? Yeah, let's get like a health upgrade or some shit. Anything, I'll take anything. I don't even think I've got any keys either. That was a bad dream, or this is. Um, the only thing I can. Oh, okay, woman. I'm going to go grab the bolts that I left behind. Yep. I think it was like loads and loads of episodes ago that I actually got them. Um, I think it was like the first key actually. And I've already found like two or three keys in the game, so I'm surprised I actually remembered that. Okay, if there's enough damage... Okay, it's completed. Okay, but you know we need... Okay, we can't get extra health. Um Just because I know like the finale is gonna give me quite a bit to offer. Let's do a bit of a fire rate. I know stamina. Gorge was a thing, um, I didn't know that. I mean, it makes sense that it'd be a thing. I mean, like, if it's a if it's an option on the side of the screen, of course it'll be an upgrade. <laughs> but we ain't going that route. Okay, are we jumping or something? What's the plan? Ooh, I think I remember this, and I remember this part being cool as shit. Are we jumping? What are we doing? Yeah, I remember this part, it was so old. Is that acid? Yep. You know who's asked to trap that is. I was gonna say something because I, I recently locked into it. Um, I'm not going to actually spoil it though because I don't want to mention it and then, you know, it happens because. Well, we'll just wait. I'm pretty sure this is where it happens. If I remember correctly. could cause this much damage. Um, Rubik? Subway sticking out of the ground? Yeah, but look how it's positioned. If we can get over there, we might be able to use it to get across. Let's just concentrate on getting out of here. Hey. 
look ahead towards your goals or something. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I was literally about to. Okay, well, bye, Joseph. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. Sure. You couldn't have well then again. Why would you? I mean, you see, like an obvious route. You take the obvious route. Damn it! First Kidman now. I think that's his noise as well. Hey, there he is. Yeah, what I was going to say was um, I found out that he... Uh, the whole reason that his, like, his mask is the way it is. I was kind of right about... Um, Ruvik, like, in person, like, you know how, right, I'm trying to think how to explain this, Ruvik had, like, a, a mansion they lived in, in that mansion, obviously, there was the, there was the keeper's safe on a painting, apparently, the, the keeper represents the same helmet, well, the same safe that, um, Ruvik kept all his research in, so I was like somewhat right when I was like, um, you know, is it to do with he's, like was it to do with the painting, but it turns out it was actually to do with he's, um, oh you fucking know I'm here, don't you? What was that? What did you do? Oh, okay, thanks, bro. I was... Rubik? Okay, well, if he didn't know I was here now, he knows I'm here now. And so does that little freak, so let's just, you know... God damn it. I literally pur purposefully pulled out the magnum just to like deal with him as fast as possible. Because <sighs> of that ability. Serbian Psycho. I thought that was a like, reference in the Serbian movie. Which I have never seen. Um, again, I could just run out and like get him a thingy. Okay, time to test a little theory that I can actually you know get this guy with a with a backstamp I mean I do not think he's gonna go left I think he's gonna go right if anything Oh, you'll turn around. You'll not, you'll not go left. Okay, yeah, but he's got to go turn around. Okay, well, that's a very big surprise. Um, I was not expecting to actually be all backstabbing. But yeah, as I was trying to say... The Keeper's mask, well, safe head, represents where Rubik's research is, which...
Oh, you fucking asshole. Fuck oh, up, bro, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Thanks. Oh, fuck off. Okay, let's just use the Magnum straight up. I'm on the ground. I'm always like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, I like I was trying. I keep like stopping and pausing. I was close enough when I was like, oh, is the safe meant to represent like the painting as a kid? Oh, not this part again. No, you can't do this. Come along, buddy boy. Oh. Don't delay the inevitable. Oh shit, I, yeah, I had a feeling that I was like... You're gonna stay dead? Okay, one shot is decent. Okay, so clearly this entire section is a stealth section. I mean, it's up to me if I want to kill everyone. Personally... I'm not feeling it. Um, I would much rather just sneak past you all. Yeah, I'd just rather not, like, go through all the, like, attempts of killing them guys. Hey, Mr. Keeper. Wait, 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 is that him? Okay, I thought he was, like, that close to me there. Oh, close. Insanely close! Fuck! So, if I went past that way, you would have saw us. Oh, no! Hey, buddy! Long time no see, eh? Okay, well, it's gonna have to kill you. You cannot be any stronger than the. <laughs> I was gonna say, you cannot be any stronger than the main guy. What if I could stealth attack him? Can you stealth attack Keeper? Snap his neck. I mean, maybe. I'll try, I'll try and stealth attack him. I want to see if it's actually possible. I mean, bearing in mind, I do not think it'll be possible at all. Um, but I mean, like, there's got to be a way to actually get past this part of how to fight him.
Bro's a quickie boy. Oh, he's on the move now. So he's just like, he, he's not with anyone. He's just like a lone soul. Also, did you make all these? Or were you just like, yeah, if I die, um, I'm just going to come back like five fucking times just to annoy the shit out of the player. So that seems like you've, what you've done, Mr. Keeper. Also, I love how Seb actually knows how to like disarm this shit. Like... What's to say that something in another world, yeah, the mindset of a, of a fucking psychopath would actually be able to let you, like, disarm his traps? Holy shit, I thought they were going to attack me there. Okay, well, keep a card. Doesn't have a nose, we have confirmed. Doesn't have lungs. I don't know why, but these doors are giving me, like, the vibes of, like, Dead Island 1. Joseph! Oh. Are you in there? Joseph! Where you at, Joseph? Yeah, Kidman's gonna be, like, buried or not all that rubble, and she's gonna, like, respond. If she was, yeah. I mean, it's horrible, but, like, from what I've seen, people who get trapped under rubble need, like, metal saws and shit. God, the, the idea of getting, like, trapped under a house that's, like, collapsed of rubble. Horrible. I'm not claustrophobic, um, but just the idea of being trapped under all of that is just, I don't like it. I mean, I'm sure... <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? Oh, Jesus loves tormenting others. Has to let them know he has the upper hand. Lays out the bait. Gets his victim all worked up. His unholy traps. When it was happening to me, I could see what was going on. I could see it. But I couldn't turn back. I had to know. I had to know the truth, and he knew it. Detective Castellanos. Lady, level with me. Am I going crazy? If one wishes to survive, one will do well to consider who they trust. I want to know, like, the law about you, like... I feel like she's um she's one of them characters that's like she's not evil and she's not good. She's just like there to guide Sebastian in a way. Okay, I don't have any more bots for that. Lolo? <laughs> um Oh this doll's open now, thank god. Further down we go. Eh, I'll keep it. I'm pretty sure HP resets every chapter, so using that would be foolish. What is that? Is that a... Uh... I know I can't say the word because YouTube doesn't like it. So is that a certain bomber? Oh yeah, it is. What does the map fragment do? Is there like two endings to this game, like? 
I mean, I doubt there is two endings, but like, is there like a secret ending? That's starting me think, did Resident Evil have secret endings? No. Maybe. I'm going to have to look that up if, I, if this does have two endings. Um, I mean, if I had to guess, the whole idea of... Did I just get that? Hell yeah. The whole idea of the uh, the map fragments are like just to like show a bit more law. Holy shit, I've seen inside his head. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that actually kind of scares. I imagine if all of that was like green goop juice or whatever it is. Joseph? Joseph. I like how you just assume the first gunshot is Joseph. What about Kidman? What about, I don't know, Ruvik? Maybe Ruvik's got a gun. Or even better, what if the Keeper's got a gun? I feel like if the keeper had a gun, it would be a... Uh... Oh, bye, 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 Joseph. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, shit. Bye, bye, Joseph. Oh, God. Now what? I'd rather not know, so let's just like disarm as many of these as possible. Yeah, sorry Joseph, you ain't surviving the Keeper. I feel like if the Keeper had a weapon, like, um... Weapon-wise... Um... Oh shit, Roombas! Not the Roombas, oh fuck. Ah. Uh. I just want to get out of here as fast as possible. Not the room bus. <laughs> I don't like room bus. Then again, I've never really understood the appeal for a Roomba. I'm assuming you kind of destroy these things, so... You know, let's not try that. But then again, the electrical stuff gives me hope! Get away from me! Gives me hope that you can possibly malfunction them. Oh, okay, so it's not an instant kill, it's just like a little, a little tap on the feet. Just run, just run, just run, just run, who cares, who cares, who cares. I'm just going to be as quiet as possible and just like focus on this part just so I mean then again what's that to be quiet about I'm just running away from Roombas I have blades on them I've never understood the appeal to it for a Roomba I mean do British people have Roombas I don't know why but it seems like a strict American thing to me
I just use this as soon as possible, just in case these fucking things like absolutely melt my ass. Fuck, he's off a different kind of acid. I am willing to bet you probably could have, like, um, thingied them with a bit of electricity, but I don't have time to figure that out. I'll say I don't have time. I just can't be bothered to find out because, like, I want to save as many things as possible for, like, final bosses and whatnot. You lucky bitch. Is it my time to dance with the okay? keeper? Oh yeah, it is my time to dance. Okay, well, for stars, we should probably not fucking stand around. Oh my god. Okay, two shots, that... Of course. Okay, let's go. I was gonna stay around and like loot shit, but no thanks. No thanks, Mr. Keeper. I'm fine. Chapter 13 cleared. God damn it. Chapter 13 cleared. With a god damn it. Fuck. Chapter 13 cleared. Fuck. When in doubt, use a magnum on the keeper. Wait. Oh my god, it's a reference to Fallout 4? 3? Fallout 3 or 4, I want to say 4. I mean, I know it's made by the same people, but holy shit. I was like, I what? I was really about to say, I think I've seen that kid from somewhere, and then I noticed it's literally just sugar bombs. I guess she's alright. What's she after? You will find out in the DLC. Sorry, spoilers of the DLC, but we find out a bit more about Kidman. But then again, I don't remember what happens to Kidman in the DLC. All I remember is having a grand old time raging at the DLC. Because I hated it. Mainly for one purpose. Okay, I just wanted to check the time on the stream. But yeah, mainly one purpose. I hated the DLC and I'm not gonna go into it just yet. Can go home. Can take the train all the way home. No, Leslie. Not today. You'll protect me. Yes, that's my job. 
good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be surprised. Real big time. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. Stop. You don't understand. You don't know what he'll become. I do. I've seen it. You don't understand what Rubik is after. So tell me, what is he after? He's after Leslie. What, he needs to finish his science project? Don't patronize me. I have orders. I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one he can... <laughs> I've noticed he's got like really, really black eyes. End of chapter. Ooh, that's a cool chapter. Okay, well, there's no point in saving the game. Let's just go straight into the next one. We've only got two chapters left. Boy, it's been a ride. <sighs> Joseph, you've got to be alive. No ammo at the start, so you've got a big ass open area and there's no ammo. I mean, not that I need ammo, but like, it would be nice to have some. I don't know why, but I reckon if you fully max out the Magnum in every shape possible, you could probably one-shot every single boss in the game. On standard mode, that is. Ooh, I was scratching my nose. Obviously, like, anything above standard, no go. I don't know though, I'm just willing to bet that you could fully max out. Okay, so your health doesn't fully upgrade. Sorry, it doesn't like transfer. So that's sad. Um sorry, uh So it seems I mean I'm assuming like the Magnum can like do quite a hefty amount of damage. Okay, bro, listen, if I could actually, let's be honest, I don't really want to do it because that's, that's, I kind of carry that many. Okay, thanks, asshole. As soon as I run in there, I'm just going to shoot the thing. I mean, I was literally thinking to myself, if I bring them outside, I could disarm every single one and carry like 15, like, bolts, but I think I can only carry like two at a time. Oh, it's generous, it landed me here. I lost my leg, and my head, and my arm. Not good.
So I should probably just like lure him out then. Or something, I don't know, throw a grenade in there. Snipe him. I think sniping him with like, oh, I don't have any sniper bullets. Let's just bomb him. You're not dead, are you not dead? Yo, what? Why did they go out? I thought, okay. Okay, so you kind of disarm them. I mean, you kind of disarm them, but you probably only disarm one at a time. That's fun. Nice toesies. Reminds me of the mortuary assistant. Okay, that didn't do anything. Thank you. I wonder if I shoot you with my own Agony Bolt. Okay, yeah, I'm still going to save all of my, like... I mean, there's probably something in here for me to grab. This, yep. I'm not going to go in there, because I want to I wanna save all of my, like... My green goop, just to make, like, a big purchase. At the end. Actually, scratch that. I'll be right back. Okay, so for anyone wondering what I went in there for, um, I got better reload. Ooh, hello. You dare turn around. You fucking dare. No, you fucking prick. Set him on fire. Okay, I got better fire rates. Um... Better critical, I think. Should I got some melee damage, like? Take them. So apparently the green goop, as I like to call it, a green goo, whatever I've been calling it this entire time, is actually green gel. That's what she calls it. By her, I mean the woman, the nurse. The demon, the lady, whatever she is. Okay, now preferably, you're definitely alive. Preferably, I just want to take him out as fast as possible. And you know what, if we can, let's try and take out the police officer. Or the SWAT team guy, this guy's definitely alive as well. If he turns around, I can stealth kill him, and that'll be like... Sweet. 
Okay, that went better than I could have hoped it to. Actually, that could have gone... That got, went way better than I thought it was going to go. I thought I was going to get, like, detected straight away, but none of them detected me. Other than that one guy that was like, I'm shooting the guy, can you not see him? And... What's that? This could be a problem. No! Okay, thank god I, I went forward instead of backwards. And like a massive chain of them. So what I've learned, never actually go for the agony bolts. Sorry, never try and disarm them. Green goop. Get in my inventory. Super jump, activate cheats like GTA 5. Or, um, what's that other game? Oh, hello! Um, Saints Row. It was Saints Row. Super jump. Activate some cheats. Okay, but seriously, how are we getting up there? I mean, I'm assuming he came from somewhere that, like, you know, allows me to get up there. Or were you just, like, in the back here just waiting for me to, like, come out? Um, you know, who knows? I'm assuming when I go back through, something's gonna open up. Oh, not that. Okay, I didn't. Gross. Oh, it's you guys again. good. There was one thing I've learned, nothing is actually dead. Everything's lying, especially that guy right there. Okay, well, you're probably gonna, like, show me what happens, if I had to guess. Get up, bro. Show me what happens if I walk through that. You're not dead. Oh no, you were dead. I'm sorry. Now what can I do for this? Oh, 
Oh right, Paul Lever. Duh. As soon as I was like, shoot the rat, unless of course that rat's gonna get like grabbed by something. Oh no, cheese boy. I like calling them cheese boys. There's a picture that I absolutely love of a specific cheese boy. Well, it's a big cheese boy. Um, I put up a picture of it. it. I love it. It's so cute. It's my favorite picture. I was gonna say, don't worry, cheese boy, I'll get revenge, but I guess I can't. Oh, no. Hopefully I do remember to put like Cheese Boy in because like I will admit I do skim these videos like Oh no oh god okay it's just rats cheese boys That wasn't a cheese boy what was that Yeah I'll be honest I don't do a whole lot of editing because like I mean, I don't have, like, cool-ass editing software. Like, there's so much I would want to do for editing, but it's like, I don't know what to edit other than, like, cut parts out and just keep it, like, straightforward. I mean, I'm hoping that'll change throughout the years. If I do YouTube in the next few years, I mean... It's, it's going good so far, I'm really enjoying it, even if, um... I'm not well known. Ah, I mean, 41. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm alive. 41 subs in like eight months. That's pretty good to me. Oh, okay. Let's see. I will shoot the main head. Okay, so what I've learned is there's traps in the water. And fire works under water. The more you know. I thought that was gonna like, fuck me up. Oh, you're still alive, okay. No, you're not. I mean, it's like, what does the game expect? Like, you've shown us, like, all of these monsters hang on, like, um, hooks, so of course I'm not going to fall for their traps. This better not kill me. Ooh, Nelly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, uh... Uh, what was that? Something exploded. But it's alright. I'm not dead. Okay, it's coming ever so slowly. Yeah, I mean like 41 subs in like however... I think it's like 7 to 8 months I started YouTube. Um... Oh, it's probably been like way longer now. Um, because I started in January, and obviously January isn't too far away. However long I've been doing it, I'm like very happy with the sub count I've gotten so far. Um, I mean, my goal. Hopefully, I want to get like 50 subs by the end of the year. Uh, I'm not going to waste that on you.
Okay. Oh no. Don't think I like the taste of you or whatever the hell's doing to you. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. Um. Yeah, I want to try and get 50 subs by the end of the year. Hopefully, that's like my goal. Um. And then I can start into the next year doing like streams on the actual proper YouTube. Well, I say proper YouTube. Like I can actually do streams on YouTube instead of doing Twitch. But I mean, I'll still do Twitch for like normal recordings. Um, that's very kind of you to open that door for me. Thank you, whoever did that. Ooh, I was about to walk into that. I think that's why it's there, to be honest. Probably to make you walk right into it. Oh, okay. It had, it's got a hand in its chest that just goes, ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, 50 subs just to get like streams going on the main channel. Again, I say the main channel on like YouTube. I mean, of course, I'm still gonna do like streams on here. Oh, I should have waited. Oh, okay, we're fine. At least it's blocked. Okay, why isn't it blocked, you go? I messed up. Big time. I got the last laugh, I think. Please give me a syringe. Oh no, asshole. Thank god you can't be damaged by your own fire, that would fucking suck. Put that tentacle away! No! Okay, um, but yeah, I want to try and get like 50 subs just to do streams of like, uh, probably challenge runs. I wouldn't mind doing challenge runs on YouTube stream. Um. So, you know, if anyone's watching this on YouTube, um, if you want to see me do challenge runs, you know what to do. Subscribe. Oh. Tell others about me. Let the world know that Ember Knight exists. Okay, we're still fine. But yeah, though, like, just get the 50, get the 50 subs by the end of the year, and then I can start doing streams for the next year. Because it, it seems like it'd be fun to just, like, do a little bit more. Okay, so I think that's just, like, creating an extra wall. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it actually unleashes more enemies. You know, that's cool too, I guess.
I just don't want to take the risk that you come back. But yeah, there's like a lot of challenge runs that I actually want to do, but YouTube just has a policy where it's like, oh no, you have to have 50 subs to actually get anywhere. So, that's why I haven't been doing streams. Apparently for like, I think it's like under 16s or under 17s have to have like a thousand subscribers to stream. Oh, hello. Tentacle boy. I think a thousand subscribers is mental. Like. Have I wandered into some kind of nest? You know, that's your first fall after like getting grabbed by something. I mean, this is this entire thing looks like a nest. I mean, not that I ever mentioned anything because I wasn't thinking that, but. You know, that's pretty obvious, Sebastian. Yeah, I think a thousand subs is just mental. Also, I'm fully aware what's coming up. It's a boss fight, so I'm going to actually go spend my monos. on getting more uh, more like um room for my bullets but yeah a thousand subs it's like what are they thinking i don't understand what's the difference like i mean i get it like actually do i get it i don't think i do i don't understand the policy 50 subscribers for over 18 year olds. 1,000 subscribers for under 16 or something. Or under 17. Ooh, what? I don't know what to say, it's just, uh, it's a crazy number, like a thousand. Um. But it seems so oddly specific as well, like 50, like 50 subscribers to stream, For I know I'm going on about this over and over, but like, just like, while I'm walking around here, 50 subs. Fair enough, but uh, why is it why is that such that big of a gap? A thousand for it. I mean, I guess the way I could say it is like, oh, you don't want a kid accidentally like streaming. But then again, it's like if they've got a thousand subs, they might accidentally stream still. It just doesn't make sense to have that big of a gap. Who knew? What am I, an electrician? You ain't got boing guns. <sighs> okay, well, how you could have made this. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Um kinda rotated if I kinda Hey, invisible guy, I remember you're, you're invisible, yeah.
That's the whole idea of you. Well, I've got two words for you. Grenade, 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 grenade. As many grenades as I have. That's because I've only got one. I've got two. Grenade. Grenade. At least it killed one of us, so it kind of worked. I mean, not in my favor, but you know. Okay, let's... Let's just see what's actually around here for me to use. That could be a problem. I am seeing nothing. Just like switch that to that for now. Can you not give me some like, you know? Oh, I thought you were dead just then. Ah, oh, fuck. So you're not that hard of a boss. You know, you're pretty simple. And I'm assuming this guy is the end of the chapter, so... God damn it, I just do not have the health. Oh, I do. Well, hey, I mean, that would have been better to use beforehand, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers or whatever the hell the saying is. Why are you spawning this time, bro? Okay, I was gonna say if I had to guess, it's like three hits, three like phases away from, sorry, one phase away from death. Let's go that it's death. Without help, I am pretty much useless. You little shit bag. Oh, was that a med kit? Bro, where are all the med kits at? I'm so bad at this. Eh, one hour, 27 minutes, that's not bad. I mean, 
So this will probably be like a two hour long episode, or two hour and thirty minutes, depending how long. Because I'm assuming this guy is like the final boss. For this chapter. And then apparently the final mission is just 30 minutes long, so... But as always, don't hold me against it. Oh, sorry, don't hold me to it. Sorry, but I'm just gonna bum rush the shell of you. Such a slippery little shit bag. Okay, I did it. So much for like, you know, going for like saving all my bullets for the final boss. Um, that's obviously not gonna happen anymore. Okay, I take it we just winding this again. Yep. And that'll probably give me the other part I'm after. Mm, nice little race star. Also, yeah, I could have just made a shit ton of bolts. I didn't actually have to make that so hard on myself. Okay, well there we go, I've got like every single bolt in the game. Where is it? Am I stupid? Is it right in front of me? It probably is. Hmm. Another key? I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen like four of them like... I mean, now that I know that they have a key, I mean... I feel stupid because like I do remember that I've seen quite a few of them. Okay, I'm assuming that just powers the elevator straight up. Okay, yeah, that was no extra thing. Oh my god. I feel so dumb. For not, like... I forgot what I feel dumb for. Oh yeah, shit, for not destroying the statues. I mean, I've seen a few of them, and I was like... Eh, it's probably just a collectible, I'm not gonna waste my bullets on it. And I know for a fact, like, earlier in the series, I hit a few of them, and I know they dropped keys, but it just didn't register to me. For whatever reason. I mean, the series is pretty much over now, so... You know... I guess I shouldn't cry about it. You? What was it? You will die.
you will eat pie. You will. You will suffer. I thought it was going to be like, you will witness. Hey, for once you're not chasing me. I mean, that's nice of you. Ooh. Just in case there was something behind me. I mean, like, I know some games do actually do that. Like, they, they put you forward, but there's actually something behind you. You've published my research in your name again. Did you think I wouldn't find out? And I have done you a favor. You have no credentials. You'd never appear in a reputable journal otherwise. Nobody in the world knows you even exist. Oh, but they will know. I have surpassed you. In every way you can imagine. No matter. I have what I need. All that's left is the procedure. Indeed. That is why we are here. We? There is no we. You wouldn't dare. You couldn't complete it without me. Precisely. No wonder Rubik's pissed. Trying to make me feel sorry for you. Oh, not this again. I mean, then again, it's pretty easy to deal with them. I mean, it's just as simple as round them up. Okay, instant kill. I mean, round them up, shoot them with the the electric, and then just rip out the brain stem things, whatever it is. As soon as it drops them out, I'm gonna go for it. I was gonna say, even if I have to use like one per one years, but thankfully I don't. It's the final chapter. Do 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 do. Do 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 do, and evil within. It says the name of the game. <laughs> oh, hey, Rubik. No, I didn't say whatever that is. Hey, Google. I said hey, Rubik. You're not Rubik.
Nobody here at all? Okay, I thought that was gonna be a note from the nurse, but I guess not. Ruvik? What's stopping Ruvik from, like, as soon as I put this on my head, just killing me? Okay, yeah, let's just, like, fully upgrade the shit out of this. And if there's anything else I can upgrade, might as well do it. I'm hoping I'll get Magnum Bollocks. I forget when you said that again, losing our minds. Okay, so I was like, I was a couple, like, I was like over 10 away, so. Oh, no, 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 I better never do this one. You know what's ammo? I'll um, happily take it. And let's do the end one. I did not want gel. So, actually, no, I'll use the gel to up to get the final upgrade. I mean, I'm assuming... I'm assuming straight after this, there's, like, no other way to get back in here. Because apparently it's just a straight up 30 minutes from here to finish the game. Um, let's do stock. I do not think we're going to have any more... Let's do syringe. I just don't believe that I'm gonna have, like, over 8 magnum bullets for the end of the game. I'm kinda sad I don't actually have any magnum bullets to actually finish the game with. Um... Oh, is this where he turns into what his true form is? Ah, oh, he's got normal. This so way. So he's got normal eyes in the real world, obviously, and then he's got black eyes in Rubik's mind. Hey, wait! You know, this, for some reason, when I seen this, it reminded me of that really grotesque scene in Wolfenstein. Um, or Wolfenstein. I call it Wolfenstein, but I got corrected by my uncle that's Wolfenstein. Because obviously it's German. Um, I forget which one it is, but it's where, like, it's this crazy-ass doctor that puts people, like, Sorry, this is, this is gonna sound gruesome as shit. But like, people are like leaning forward like this, and their spines are like out of their body. And right, kid, where are you I don't think me? I don't think they were. I do not think they were dead when he did it. I'm pretty sure he says like, "Oh, I need like real experiments, and this is what you're gonna become." And if I'm not mistaken. He actually does it to one of your comrades, depending who you pick. I mean, I don't want to, like, spoil Wolfenstein. I mean, it is at the start of the game. I believe it's, uh, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. I'll have to play Wolfenstein again. I mean, love the game. Great game. This way, this way. It's going to come down. I was actually playing it when uh, 
me and my partner started talking for the first time like when we met. I don't remember that. Oh, I'm surprised he remembers my name. Yeah, when we met, I remember that being like one of the talking things I talked about was like Wolfenstein. Hard as, honestly, I'm gonna be honest, it was hard as shit. Like, it's. It is a very hard game. In a way, certain like missions. But at least I never did the Uber Foul or whatever it was called. D difficulty where. Beacon, just like Joseph said. If you die, you go all the way back to the start, which is horrible. Um. I remember I literally had to drop the difficulty for the final boss. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil what the final boss is, but all I'll say for people who have played it, it was the mech. The one where the guy's in the mech is the final boss. Back to where we started. I knew it. I'll have to watch an evil within breakdown of the entire story at some point. I mean there's a few games I would love to like get a breakdown on, like um Dead Space. Um, I mean, I do understand what Dead Space is about. I mean, I played the original. <laughs> I think I played the original when the, the remake got announced. But, um, funny thing about the original game, I actually played it on Valentine's Day. Um, which was like the saddest thing ever. Well, everyone was out there, like, living life and loving it. I was playing Dead Space in, I think, 2021. And the way I can confirm it is I actually have a trophy from, sorry, an achievement from Valentine's Day. I mean, I'll put the tro I'll put the achievement up right now of that Dead Space when I was playing on Valentine's Day. I mean, I think I played it like a tiny bit before Valentine's Day, the day before, and then I got more trophies, achievements on it on Valentine's Day. Because I think I finished Dead Space 1 in like one or two days, and then Dead Space 2 I started on Valentine's Day. Which was just sad. I mean, whether or not I put the image up, um, yeah, it is true. <laughs> Should I drop? No. But I mean, like, even if I didn't get a spend... I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't have it any... Sorry, Ruvik. I'm not listening to your sob story. Ah, yes, it's the first place from where we slid down. I wonder if there's actually something in there. Um, I can't probably check, though. Yeah, I would not have it any other way, like, playing Dead Space on Valentine's Day. I mean, it doesn't matter now. I mean, I'm happy with the partner I've got and that would change our timeline but god damn dead space on valentine's day while others had a date with their partner I had a date with Isaac Clark the crazy son of a bitch that he is
I wonder how many people actually shot them locks. I'm pretty sure I did shoot them on my first playthrough. And then like, now I'm just like, fuck it, I'm gonna hit them. I remember this. This is cool as shit. Oh, no, it's not a pod. I actually wouldn't mind doing a dead space stream. Um trying to get every trying to beat them in sanity mode. Or at least like trying to get the platinum because like I mean I play it on Xbox because it was on game sorry, EA play. Which was connected to Game Pass, so I played it from there, but I wouldn't mind actually doing insanity mode. And trying to platinum it, because I had a lot of fun with it. And I do enjoy playing these types of games on the hardest difficulties. I mean, I love the challenge. Um, I mean, I'm sure I've mentioned it in previous episodes and videos. By the time I realized it, it betrayed me. Sorry, Rubik. I don't care. Yeah, I plan. I, I hunt. Sorry, I didn't hundred percent. I I've beaten Resi one. Sorry, Resi two to eight, missing out four on the hardest difficulty. Which I know isn't like impressive at all. I mean, anyone can do it, but I had a blast doing it. And I recommend if you enjoy like these types of games too. I mean, if you if you've watched this far, you clearly enjoy these types of games. So why not, you know, give it a try. Go for the go for the hardest difficulty. It might be scary. But let me tell you, it's fun. It makes you strategize more. Um, I was actually considering doing it for this game. I probably should have went down the steps. I fucked up. Yeah, I probably should have like went for it on this game, but I kind of was put off. Mainly because I hadn't played this game enough to know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. The reason I actually haven't attempted to go for the hundred percent sorry to get the reason I haven't attempted to beat this game on its hardest difficulty. Um in the words of a wise cowboy, I'm afraid. <laughs> I am genuinely afraid to like try and beat this game on its hardest difficulty. Like Resident Evil, it's easy because like it's a simple layout. There's a map to show, like, if you've collected everything. Um, and I've played them that many times that I love them and they don't take that long to finish. This, however, I don't know much. And there's upgrades to make it easier, which... Obviously, we'll make the enemies like more stronger. Um, I think the hardest Resident Evil game I ever beat on the hardest difficulty was uh, Village of Shadows. I legitimately had to take a break. That is amazing. I wish. This kind of thing was here before. 
like you just went in the room and you just sat in the chance like going through all that mirror dimension and shit. But I guess it helps to the story. But yeah, as I was saying, it's like... Village of Shadows was what really made me like question if I could ever actually beat Well, actually, sorry, that, like, that really gave me a pain. I got through, like, most of the story in, like, two days. Um, the main problem being Heisenberg. My, my own character that I dressed up as. Made my life a living hell, trying to beat it. I mean, I literally had to take a break for, like... Um... A year. I had to take a break from Resident Evil Village for a year and then I came back a year later to actually beat it after watching some more tutorials on how to beat Heisenberg. Rest in peace. This is a trophy. Seems very weird for him to be a burnable body. No trophy, I guess. But yeah, Village of Shadows, Heisenberg, horrible fight. More like, oh, this is actually retelling the story at the start. I did not stand a chance. It makes sense that he hits fire too. Oh no. Wait, what the fuck is this? I don't remember this. Yeah, it makes sense that Ruvik hates fire too because obviously he died in fire. But finishing the Village of Shadows talk. The reason Heisenberg's so hard is because it's actual like skill over like. Well then again, I would say it's more luck. Actually no, it's skill. It's 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 absolutely skill his part of the fight. Cause if you mess up like once and you don't know what you're doing on his fight Um it's over. Because there's no health upgrades, oh sorry, there's no way to heal. You've got to know where to like move and like shoot. It's oh, it's hard. It's a horrible fight. But enough about Heisenberg. Let's get this done.
Oh, fuck off. Not you guys. I was hoping I could like shoot you in the back of the head, but I guess not. Oh, I've got no matches, no wonder. As sad as that is, it's not game breaking that I don't have matches, so... Nothing to worry about. You're definitely still alive. Okay, guess not. For whatever reason, I thought that was going to be Laura. <laughs> Thank god they kind of go bladders. Duh. Oh shit! Yep. Yep, 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 Stop, 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 If I had to guess, this fight goes in like, threes. Like it starts off with them guys coming down, then the other guys coming down, and then... We make a full circle with like... What am I saying, full circle? Um, These guys head down. And then we end up with the... The, peep, the guy I was fighting before. Okay, well, let's try and get as many of you guys in a corner as possible. I think I'm just going to freeze them. So much green soupy. Who's next? Can I shoot the eyes? Probably.
I can't help but feel like... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I can't help but feel like someone hasn't spawned in. Oh, damn. Okay, well, have I got an idea for these? I want the fuck. Oh, okay. Now he's got his friggin' signature chainsaw. Cool. Okay, I feel like having like. Time step. My back. <laughs> okay, I think it's gonna spawn me directly before that other guy. Or just before the status. I think this is where they came from. Let me also just use this. So it's obviously just like a little break from them. Where you at? You couldn't just join your brethren, could you? The scary thing is, I know what's coming, so like, I need to have a bit of ammo left over. Okay, okay, calm down. Oh shit. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Where was that? I mean, I'm sure it was just sitting there the entire time, but like, where was it? Please die, please die, please die, please die. Okay, good. Gimme, 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 gimme Slurpee. Okay, what have I got left? Okay, there's probably stuff to loot, but like... No one wants to see me loot, so... And I don't want to see me, I don't even want to see me loot either, so I'm just gonna go for it. I know what's coming. It's spooky. 
it's a scary skeleton. But if I had four magnum shots, it would be doable. Okay, what is this? I don't remember this. This is pretty much just Rubik's Gauntlet for me, isn't it? Come on, show your face, show your face, show your face, show your face. I could probably hit him, but I don't want to try it. Okay, no, I kind of hit him. I mean, it knocked him a bit, so that's something, but didn't kill him, so... Hey, God, bro, just go down with my last sniper shot. That was cool as shit, how he had, like, his mask... Like, the mask was cracked here, so it showed, like, a bit of exposed flesh. I like that. I like your style, kid. I mean, I give you that style, but like... Not bad, kid. Not bad. Let's go for it. Is this where my nightmare is? I'm pretty sure it's behind that door. What you're about to see is one of the most terrifying fucking things ever. Oh no. I'll give you a hint. One. Two. How cool would it be if I could just throw them? And there's Roombas in here, are you serious? I know what's coming, and I don't like it. The second I pull this lever, I'm pretty sure it's going to activate them. I mean, I'm kind of like spoiled it already, what else is going to happen, but... I want to disarm as much shit and grab- No, ah! oh, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up, boys. Please don't wake up. I'm pretty sure the second I touch the floor, that's when they're going to come alive. This is just all prep. Because as per usual, I'm pretty sure the first time I played this, I didn't have the preparation. Um, What else can I make? I feel like that's going to work better. Here we go. Imagine it didn't happen and I'm just lying. Gentlemen, welcome. What does that do? Absolutely jack shit for me.
I was really, really hoping that that last bullet would put you in your place, but I guess not. Uh. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know why I expected the... I'm pretty sure they both have the same HP as um, the original, the original, as I like to call them. Oh, sorry, as I like to say it, instead of original, original. They, they probably have the same HP as the original Keeper. Oh, then again, maybe a tiny bit less, because... Actually, no, sorry, maybe a tiny bit more, because the original Keeper was, let's be honest, really easy to kill. He wasn't a tanky boy. I was really hoping I could get that this time, but guess not. Whew. Ooh. Yeah, getting the prep work to get these guys, like, sorted straight away is, like, the best thing to do. Um, I could also do something stupid, which would be set up, like, three bombs at the front, so when they stand on them, you know, they just kind of go boom. But I'm willing to try it. I... I mean, I'm hoping they'll come at the same time as each other, so let's just try it. What's this do? Ooh, could I... Oh, you sly son of a bitch. You're going up there, aren't you? It's just a guess, but what if I was to... You better not come from there, I swear to God. Oh, you did. Okay, well, you're just chilling, so... Hey, we got one! Okay, part of me wanted to see if that would work, I guess not. Fuck, 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 fuck. Use a, use a trap, use a trap! Okay, now heal. I don't know why I thought I could dodge that with just running right beside him. Oh, we did it. Um. I guess note to self or anyone who's wanting to play this game in the future. Don't try and flash the keeper. Do I 
80 minutes. That's not bad at all. Oh no. What if there's something in that drawer? Okay, there's not. Okay, that's fine with me. I'm pretty sure it's instant kill if you get spotted by the light, so... Don't get spotted by the light. Pro tip from me. That should have fucking killed me, I'm gonna be honest. Suggest. Oh, fuck. I mean, I could, in theory, try and disarm them all, but. Oh, okay, so it only just does that at once, so it's not like a chain effect. Oh, fuck it. I cannot do it. I didn't go for that. Imagine. Oh. <laughs> I promise I did not time that to be like that. Um, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, so straight to the right, and then to the left, and then back to the right, and then into the left. I'm assuming this is the same courtyard that I was in, but at the same time I'm not going to assume that because that would be foolish. I mean, they probably have hidden some kind of ammo here. Okay, no, this is definitely the same courtyard. So... Just keep going, I guess. No more chair for me. Oh well. Not much point in giving me 24k then, was there? Well, sorry, 20k just from them two keepers. Guess I'll make a monster or something out of it. Whatever you say, because Olivia's are a very... They're a very mandatory thing? They're everywhere, bro. You can't escape them. Oh, yeah, this is, this is that room from the last episode where I peeked through the layers of Reality. It can't be. Help! Help! Sebastian, get away from him.
Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... <sighs> Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Rubik. He's the one that... It... Why you just didn't go straight to try and shoot him then and there? turned into milk for a brain I was literally expecting to see Kidman in that elevator just going down Land on the brain, I'll be a squishy landing. Yeah! <laughs> Extra slim. Okay, that looks... Okay, hey Ruve. Why does that look like every single enemy in Bob just merged into one? Like, it's got, it's got Laura's hands behind them. It's got the teeth of that ocean monster. Um, it's got Rubik's body. Oh shit, I was trying to look at you. Ooh! crunchy that's just so much about it that just like proves that you know it does look like they've just like took every single enemy and just been like push i mean it makes sense fuck i'm not saying it they're not allowed to reuse assets but i guess if it's rubik's mind it kind of makes sense that it's like a merge of all of them because he created all of the monsters so is it really hard to believe that he created one big boy to turn himself into? Oh no! Okay, I thought I could, like, loot. Okay, I don't know if anyone else noticed, but he's got, um, he's got braces. Even in his own fucked up little world, bro knows that a straight smile is what he needs. Why 
what are the odds that you actually landed on this? I would assume just aim for his skull to crack his like main body. Oh yeah, 100%, shoot the head. It's crazy that city's got braces though, that's quite funny. Oh. Unlucky bro. Don't mind if I do. Also, is it a possible that this thing can get out into the real world? Have this bitch! This is literally just became like one of them arcade game machines like where you sit in the trucks or whatever and like it it shows you red like mark as to shoot. That's bullet straight into the brain. Never mind, that's unfortunate. I can't do anything. Hey, Ruvik, um, you got any bullets? Bro? My guy? Well, that's it, just a little, little two finger smoosh. So I guess just hit them like every now and then. Don't like absolutely pound them. Sorry, I'm trying to think as well. Like maybe it's like shoot him while he's walking. I don't think it's registering as like an actual hit. Because before I was just like unloading a shit on a board and all about thinking. I don't know. I mean, am I missing? Maybe because like I'm just shooting without like actually aiming. Oh fuck, I did it again. Okay, yeah, maybe it actually wants me to actually aim. Instead of going like all three nilly.
I literally do not know what more to do. I also kind of find any information on this fight. Okay, we did it. I was worried that that was going to take like at least 10 attempts for whatever reason. Because I legitimately couldn't find any information on how to actually beat him. Oh. That's... Kind of cool, but kind of fucking disgusting, I'm not going to lie. Am I inside? Smell. That's a big boom. I was expecting to be like a massive chunk in the back of his head. That water. If it is water. Oh, what now? Oh, you still alive. Ruvik, I'm gonna finish this. Bite your brain. I'm gonna take a norm out of your brain. Go on, Swastia, nom it! I'll squish it. Nom it! Bite it. Put some salt on it. Or smoosh it. Vital sign, sir. Was, was that the doctor? And those two. Is that the doctor? They're not going anywhere. Oh shit. No one was, can. Was that the doctor? Did I literally just say the doctor? That looked like the doctor. The doctor. I mean, there's the there's the hospital guy. Yeah, there's the hospital guy. There's the doctor. So they died, obviously. So if, since they died in the dream world, they tried. They died in real life. So does that mean the doctor was one of the? one of the people like in the tubs <laughs> Leslie with us
too many questions up. And I'm still left with no answers. I mean, I know it's probably all in the di document, so that's how people learned about like what this game's about, but I'm gonna have to listen to a breakdown. And if my partner has watched it this far, I'm not talking about the let me break it down for you, Mark. <laughs> I did not understand this ending at all when I first played it. Go, go, go! Detective, are you alright? Is there anyone else? Just give me some real fresh air. So I still wonder how he actually got into the dream world with Ruvik. I mean, I'm assuming when he got knocked out during that one part. Okay, this part I did not understand at all. Like, Leslie just walks away and that's the, that's the end of it. He's never heard from again. But if I had a guess... At the start of the game, when you get knocked out or Rubik comes from behind you, that's when you get transported into this, like, into the, like, thing in the back of your head, in the bathtub. Um, so I wonder if that means Leslie wasn't real. Also, I fucking love this theme so much. The music video I talked about at the start of the game, um, has this playing in the background. Um... And it's like a, a montage of everything that happens in the game. It's really cool. I don't even care if I got copyrighted. I'm gonna sit through the full song. By myself I infinite Darkness twisted me, yeah. There is Nothing I can't do. Boom. Do, 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 do. It turns me inside, side. I don't know the lyrics, but do, do, do. Yeah. I can't dance the way I wanted to. I couldn't even hear the music when I was dancing there. Um, it's like 7.44 at night, so I can't. Okay, I think that's enough for the song. Chapter 15 clear, machine gun acquired. Rocket launcher acquired. 50,000 skill points acquired. Model viewer bonus. Ten hours, sixty-three deaths. Oh yeah, I should probably save it. A ten-hour-long series molded into I don't remember what I this is molded into. I don't know how many hours I actually got on record. Sorry, on like record. Let's um see the model viewer. See if we've unlocked anyone. Okay, so Sebastian. Marcel. She's 
He was 17 at the time of death. Ruvik's beautiful, generous sister, the only one who understood him. In life, she preferred to wear red. 37 at the time of disappearance, cut off from the outside of the world. Ruvik continued his research at all until one day a fire broke out in his basement, laboratory, his body was never found. Among the smoldering of moraines. Wait. Child aged Ruvik when he still retained a shred of innocence. At this age, he began showing glimpses of his morbid interest, doing things like dissecting small animals. Mm. Alter ego. Sadist. Zen. Noon. The Keeper. He's seven fucking. He's seven foot seven inches. What the fuck? He's not even fall. Holy shit. I think I'm six foot two, so he's like. The fuck? So he should be like this, this, the height of a fucking seal. Jesus. A creature created from the blend of Rook's final memories before he was dismembered and his fury at having his research stolen from the safe. So, like I said. When I locked it up, anyone who approaches the safe is killed and their severed head added to those in the sack. So that's what's in his sack, is... Heads. Awesome. Trauma, I don't care. Sentinel, I don't care. A creature born from the memory of Laura's tragic death and Rubik's own vengefulness. The thing is nearly immune to bullets but reacts violently to flames. Also known as the fucking coolest. I think out of all of like the horror villains and games that I've played, for female wise, she's my favourite. They're just so fucking creepy. Swishy swashy swoosh. But then again, there is a creature in the second game, like her, that is even better. Oh yeah, this thing, the Shigio. And I, I, I read this, an aquatic monster born when a subject drowned during testing and their consciousness became lost with Rubik's mental world. It dwells in the milky waters. And attempts to pull anyone who draws near. I like how they've given it like an actual like, kind of Jaws thing. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't even care about you. I just... So I'm assuming when it says like they lost their they drowned during test and I'm assuming they drowned in the bathtubs and then they just became this fucking thing. I just oh, I don't like the teeth. Plus it's got braces too. I think when I say he's got braces, I think it was actually wire wrapped around his teeth. Amagala heresy. Amagalam. Amagalam core. Haunted group. Somehow, even people who couldn't be connected to the stem appear as monsters. Um, I kind of want to read Leslie before I like say the outro. Leslie has always compensated for his difficulty communing by unconsciously emulating the thoughts of others. The characteristic is what Ruvik sought for his experiments in linking consciousness. So Leslie was just a a nut job, basically. I don't know if that's like the right word to use, and I'm sorry if that's offensive. Um, but I guess he was always like crazy, and that's why he's at a mental hospital, and that's why Ruvik, like he says there, sought for his experiments in linking consciousness. So he probably seen how vulnerable he was and decided to use him. So we don't get anything on him. How old's the cast then? 33. 27. I'm willing to bet Sebastian's like in his 40s. 38. Fair enough. But that has been the evil within. At least for now. Um, obviously we've still got these. The assignment, the consequence and the executioner. Um, 
the assignment and the consequence are to do with Kidman and the con execution is where you play as the fucking keeper, which is sorry, cool as shit. Um, but obviously, we will do that in another episode. Um, I might even try and just do the assignment and the consequence in one episode and then leave the execution out for like its own separate, but who knows, depending how long the assignment is, we'll cross that when we come to it. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. And I will see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.